I made these amazing popsicles at home and you have to give it a try. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll take you guys back in the kitchen with me and I'll show you how to make these amazing popsicles. Go ahead and tell your friends and your family members about Cali J's Kitchen and have them subscribe. Turn on your post notification bell so you can always be notified whenever I upload a new video. Follow me on Instagram, it's Cali Kitchen underscore one, and also on Facebook, it's Cali J's Kitchen. So, from your simmer with the sour sop, you know, of course, my dad gave it to me. So, I rinse off my sour sop nicely. I will go ahead and break it into halves, and of course, I'm going to remove the art. I will then go ahead and just break it up in some smaller pieces. And please note, guys, if you want to go ahead and blend your sour sop, you can always go ahead and do it. For me personally, I don't like to blend the sauce up because I think it's a little bit harder to strain when you blend it. So once I break up my sauce up um, in some smaller pieces, I will go in and add some water. Then I'm going to use my hand to just squeeze it because you want to get all of that juice out of the sauce up. And once I squeeze it nicely, I will come back and show you what it looks like. And we're also going to go ahead and strain. Now, you can get this sauce up at any local supermarket as well as you can get it at any local um farmer's market and if you have the tree if your neighbor have the tree it's even a little bit better no you don't necessarily have to use sour sop to make your popsicles you can always go ahead and use pineapple you can use any fruit of your choice remember guys you have to be creative and remember you have to be you in the kitchen and just utilize whatever you have at home as it regards to the popsicles um mole you can always go ahead and get the mole at any local um local home goods store or you can just visit your local pharmacy and of course you will get the popsicle molds there as well now they do have different size when it comes on to the popsicle mold you can always go ahead and you know purchase the one that will suit you and your family so now it's time to go ahead and of course strain and what you want to do when you strain in the sauce up, you want to ensure that you strain it at least twice, all right? Because you don't want any of that pulp to get into it. And just to note, guys, also, let's backtrack a little. If you're going to go ahead and... Um if you're gonna go ahead and, and, and blend the sauce up, what you want to do also, you want to remove the seed from the sauce up, and that is a little bit time consuming. So I, you know, use your hand to just make fashion. Use your hand as a blender, and it's much easier and goes faster. So this is what it looks like once I strain it nicely. And again, you want to strain twice just to get rid of any pulp that might fall into the juice so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna separate it in two halves now i'm gonna put one half in the fridge as it is so that we can drink it and i'm gonna use the other half to make the popsicle now you can opt to use milk at this stage or you can go ahead and use um the lime so if you don't want to add any milk you can just add some lime and some sugar but i'm gonna add some cinnamon and some nutmeg and of course i'm gonna add the betty condensed milk and you can use any condensed milk of your choice once i sweeten that i will go ahead and just taste just to ensure that it's sweet enough because remember it's gonna turn ice so remember you want to taste all right and don't worry if you see the, the cinnamon and the nutmeg on top. I like it this way. So if you want to strain again, you can always go ahead and do so. So what we're going to do now, we're just going to take a measuring cup that will help you um, and guide you along the way. So we're just going to take that measuring cup and pour out the sauce up juice in the mold. And of course, once we add the sauce up juice to the mold, we're just going to go ahead and just cover it and put it in the fridge for rough, the freezer rather, for roughly about six to eight hours because you want it to be frozen. And I'm going to come back and show you what it looks like once it's frozen. And of course, guys, you can always go ahead and serve it up to the family. You can always go ahead and make these with the kids. Of course, it's summer. So, you know, this is a good and amazing activity for the kids also. So, 
just in case also you want to add a little bit of fruit to it you can always go ahead and do so just in case you want to add a little bit of strawberry just to give it a nice little look and um bring out the flavor more you can always add it just be creative all right so this is what the popsicle looks like and this is basically after about 10 hours in the freezer so it was really easy and simple like i said you can always go ahead and give it a try and let me know what you think and let me know if you think your family would love these popsicles in the summer so i hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe and i hope you guys go ahead and try it out and let me know what you think remember to subscribe to my channel and remember to turn on your post notification bell we're on our way to 12k subscribers